Aloha kako. I'm Sam Ohugan, and I've brought us up here on the Waimalu Trail today for a reason. This is where the native forest behind me meets non-native plants like the strawberry guava that are threatening it. Our native forests are beautiful, precious, and uniquely Hawaiian, but they're also fragile and threatened. This is what native forests should look like a rich mix of trees and shrubs and ferns, each of which provides their services to the ecosystem around them and are intensely important to Hawaiian culture. From the ohi'a above, to the iliahi sandalwood, to this naupaka kuahivi. When we think about weeds, we typically think about unwanted pests in our garden or on our driveway, but weeds in the forest can include huge trees they're simply plants growing out of place and out of balance, creating problems for what should be growing there. So one of the main threats to our native forest today are introduced weeds that spread uncontrolled and ultimately take over. Strawberry guava is one of those most aggressive weeds that not only displace native plants, but everything. Here's a typical thicket of nothing but strawberry guava. As a conservation biologist and a Hawaiian cultural practitioner, it breaks my heart to see these dark thickets of strawberry guava crowding out the native trees and plants that should be growing here. I mean, look at how thickly strawberry guava grows here in Hawaii. Strawberry guava has been in Hawaii so long and is so common in our forests that some people make use of it as a resource. Its wood can be used for hula implements and tools, and its fruit are edible. But as a Hawaiian cultural practitioner, I think strawberry guava is a sorry substitute for what we should be using for our implements and tools. We should be using our native trees, ohi'a, lama, alahe'e, olopua, and dozens of other species that are being destroyed by a single foreign species. For decades, people concerned about our native forests have been searching for a solution to the problem of strawberry guava overrunning our native forests. Manual control and herbicides just aren't effective against strawberry guava. It's so prolific and so fast growing that any of the conventional attempts to control it just fail. We needed to find a way to slow it down. Over 15 years of effort by University of Hawaii researchers, Hawaii Department of Agriculture, U.S. Forest Service, and scientists in Brazil have resulted in a viable, safe solution a natural enemy of strawberry guava, an insect found on strawberry guava in its home forests in Brazil that promises to be the way to bring biological balance back to our forests. It's a scale insect, Tectococcus ovatus, that doesn't kill strawberry guava, but slows down its growth, giving our native forests a fighting chance. Some people have claimed that Tectococcus ovatus will suddenly evolve and threaten other plants, those claims are ill-founded. As an entomologist, I know that insects and plants take millions of years to evolve their relationships, and tests have shown time and time again that Tectococcus ovatus will only grow on strawberry guava, not on ohi'a, not even on other species of guava. Even if this new tool is completely successful, strawberry guava will still be in our forests, its wood and fruit available for harvest but we won't have to lose our native forests for the sake of an introduced tree from Brazil. I hope we've made it clear that the use of Tectococcus ovatus is a very measured response to a serious threat to our watershed forests. The time has come for us to make use of this new tool for conservation. Mm -hmm.